part 16 sequences you will find this on page 124 in the namibia mathematics grade 9 textbook y equals mx plus c to success consider the following list of numbers 1 4 7 10 so this is the first term the second term the third term the fourth term what am i doing every time i add three to get four I add 3 to get 7, I add 3 to get 10, and so on. So 1, 4, 7, and 10 forms a number sequence. Each number in a sequence is called a term. The terms are numbered by the letter N, which starts from 1. So N equals 4 means the fourth term. N equals 10 means the tenth term. A sequence is a list of numbers which follow each other in a definite order so that each number can be calculated by knowing the previous number or pattern. Okay. So find the next two terms in each of the following sequence. So I must first just determine the pattern. So what do they do? They add 3, add 3, add 3, add 3. So the next one will be 15. And 15 plus 3 will be 18. In the next one, they subtract 2, subtract 2, 0 minus is negative 2, subtract 2, negative 4, subtract 2 will be negative 6 and negative 8. What are they doing in this one? They times 4 to get 8, times 4 to get 32, times 4 to get 1, 2, 8. So if I times 4, I will get 5, 1, 2, and if I times 4, I will get 2, 0, 4, 8. What are they doing in this one? They divide 2 to get 20. Divide 2, 10. Divide 2, 5. Divide 2, 2.5. And if I divide again by 2, 1.25. And in this one now, they don't add, don't subtract, don't multiply, don't divide. So I must look for another pattern. But if you look, they say 1. 1 plus 3, that's 4. 3 plus 4, that's 7. So 4 plus 7 will be 11. So 4 plus 7 will be 11, and let's just correct this one. Okay, let's just want to correct this. So uh, let's just say 4 plus 7 will be 11, and then 11 plus 7 will be 18. That will be the next one. Okay, so if I look at the next one, now if I sometimes get this, I can do something with the numerator and something different with the denominator so in this case i just add one every time so the next one will be five and six this case i add two every time so this will be six eight ten twelve so the pattern for the numerator can be different from the patterns of the denominator okay i want you to do um let's see try now 26 uh you can do number one C and D, and then number 2, A, C, as well as F. Okay, you can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's start with number A, and that will be number C. So this will be 100, this will be 50, this will be 25, and this will be 12.5. And then it's just going on. So if I look at the first one, number C, um, let's just say, they divide by 2, so they divide by 2, so they divide by 2, so this one must also be divided by 2, and if it's divided by 2, this is going to give me a 6, and 6.25. Oh, it's just 1. So let's just correct that. So it's 6.25. There is the answer. Okay. If I look at number D. So this will be 4 and then 9 and then 15 and then 22. Okay. Let's find the pattern. So they add 5. Oh, in this case they add 6. So let's see if they add 7 in this case. Yes. So in this case they will add 8. And if they add 8, I will get an answer of 30. Okay, and then number 2, A, so this will be 1, this will be 6, and then, oh, I don't know, and this will be 16. 
So let's see what they are doing every time. They add 5. So let's just see. They add 5. Let's see if I add 5 again, I will get 11. And if I add 5 again, I will get 16. So that's correct. And then number F. Oh, that was number A. First number C. So this is 12. This is 8. This is 4. And then something. And this is negative 4. So let's just see if they are subtracting something every time. It looks like subtract 4, subtract 4. So if I subtract again 4, what will I get? I will get 0. And if I subtract again 4, I will get negative 4. And then number F. Now this one starts with the block. And then it was 2. And then it was 5. And then 8. And then 11. So let's just see what they were doing. They were adding 3, then add 3, then add 3. So instead of adding 3, subtract 3 to go to this side, and then I will find negative 1. So that will be the answer of A, negative 1. Okay, let's look at the next one. So d do just the reverse. Instead of adding, if you want to go back, you reverse. Okay, and it's the, the reverse of addition Add 3 will be subtract 3. Okay, and then the next one, let's just go through this. The rule for the sequence is multiply by 2 and add 3. Okay, what is the missing number? So I will multiply 2 and I will add 3. So multiply 2 and add 3. And I will come to an answer of 37. Okay, I just want you to do, try now 27, and I just want you to do number 2. Let's just, you can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now. 27. Okay, we are going to do number 2. Let's just correct this. Number 2. For the sequence, okay, let's write down the sequence. So it's 3, 8, 63. Each new term is found by squaring the previous number and then subtract 1. Wow. So I'm squaring the number and then I must subtract 1. So if I'm doing this with the number, square the number, subtract 1, then it's going to give me an answer of 3, 9, 6, Eight. Oh, that was a 9. Okay. So write down the next two terms. Oh, so do the same. Square the number and subtract 1. So what will be the next one? Oh, this is a big one. It's 1, 5, 7, 4, 5, 0, 2, 3. So this was the next one and this was the one following that one. 